Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to turn a fraction into a decimal point, okay? So let's start with this one right here. This is gonna be half, okay? Just one out of two. So we're gonna turn to a decimal point by using a very clever trick. You're going to basically just turn this into a division problem like this here. You're gonna take this number here Okay, and rewrite it like this. Okay, as so. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna break that down, okay? So you know that two does not go into one. So it's gonna be point. And how many times does two go into 10? It goes into it five times. And there you go. So it's 0.5. Okay. Let's do it with another one. This one here is going to be 6, 8. Okay. We're going to change it. We're going to do this to it. You always put the smaller number, okay, on the inside. So it's 8, 6. We'll do it like that. Again, eight does not go into six, so it's gonna be point, okay? Then, to, then you say to yourself, how many times does eight go into 60? And you do simple math. Now, we know that the highest number you can get by doing eight would be seven, because eight times seven is 56. So it's seven, okay? And what's left over is a 4. How many times does 8 go into, not 4, but 40? And of course, how do you um, how do you get a 40 out of an 8? Doing it 5 times. So it's going to be 5. And so that's 75%. Okay? 0.75. Let's do one more. And we'll see what we get. Um, this one is going to be three fourths okay same thing you're going to write in your little bar okay and put the smaller number inside large number outside okay so four does not go into three so it's going to be point how many times does four go into 30 well we know that Four times uh, seven is 28, so it's going to be seven, and it's going to have two left over, and it's not a two, it's a 20, and we know that four times five is 20, so it's going to be a five. And again, this is 0.75%, okay? So I think it's a great technique. Please review, practice. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.